So, you know, in the MMA world, we get some really random beef sometimes. And I think this whole beef with Sean Strickland and Tristan Tate is definitely up there for really weird beefs. So if anyone didn't see, Sean Strickland pretty much just came out and called Andrew Tate a con artist, you know, said that he scams guys on, uh, you know, them cam girl sites and he's the one actually talking to people, you know, just says he's a bit of a weirdo for doing that shit. And then, you know, Tristan Tate came out in a video and he said, a fighter, he didn't mention Strickland by name. And then he, he randomly called Sean Strickland a hypocrite because, like, I don't know, he's acting like Sean Strickland's some sort of moralist. Like, his point didn't really make sense. He just went on a rant about how, because Sean Strickland fights for a living, he's making money off gambling because people gamble on fights and that makes more revenue for MMA fighters. It's like, Sean Strickland's never claimed to be a moralist or anything like that. The guy talks about fucking wanting to kill people in the cage. You know, it's just, it was a weird point. I've seen a bunch of, like, posts that were like, Tristan Tate owns Sean Strickland. Tristan Tate shuts Sean Strickland down. Well, the points didn't really make any fucking sense, if we're being honest. Like, I have no bias in this, but it generally made no sense. Like, yeah, it really didn't make any sense. But the one thing that caught my attention was at the end of it, he actually called Sean Strickland little man. I, I kid you not. Sean Strickland would dog walk Tristan Tate, like, so badly. He would do him so fucking badly. Now, listen, I, I, I'm I, not someone who's just hating on the Tate brothers. Like, they're, they're obviously controversial figures. I don't know about the whole conviction and everything. I'm not... I'm not a fucking judge. I I don't know. I don't know anything about that. But I will say I agree with some of the views about how men are, you know, a lot weaker nowadays. And we do need to prioritize, you know, masculinity to some extent, you know. But obviously then some of their other views are a bit extreme. But, you know, they got some good views and some bad views. But in an actual fight, like their fighting career, let's, let's not talk about their views or anything like that. Let's just talk about them as, you know, as kickboxers, they never beat anybody good. Andrew Tate, Tristan Tate, they didn't beat anybody good. The best person Andrew Tate beat was a guy that had lost his last, like, six fights and then lost to Andrew Tate while on that losing streak. You know, not, not the greatest win. It was against a guy with a name, but he was, like, really past it by the time Andrew beat him. Tristan, on the other hand, I haven't really done a deep dive, but, you know, Andrew was the higher accomplished fighter, so you would imagine the competition Tristan Tate beat was a lot less than Andrew Tate. You know, like, I don't think people realize, like, kickboxing in general, you don't really fight many good fighters. Like, Wonderboy has a 58-0 and kickboxing record, but if you actually go do a deep dive through Wonderboy's kickboxing career, he didn't really beat anybody of note in those 58 fights. The only person he fought of note was... Oh, what was his name? Oh, uh, it's 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 lost me. Uh, he's he fought in Bellator. He is beautiful. Uh, what's his? Oh, it's like on the tip of my tongue, man. Raymond Daniels. That's it. No, I just I was trying to remember the name. Yeah, Raymond Daniels. It was a uh, he he lost to Raymond Daniels, but they overturned it to a no contest because it was technically an injury. But that was the best guy that Wonderboy fought in, during his kickboxing run. Then you go through it. He hasn't be, beat nobody with Wikipedia pages or anything. And this isn't the shit on Wonderboy. It's just that he never really, you know, beat anybody in kickboxing. But he had, like, an extensive record. Like, Andrew Tate, on the other hand, didn't really beat anybody of note in kickboxing. Like, this is... It's not, you know... You know, as they say, facts don't care about your feelings. And, like, Andrew Tate was... Like, he's not like he was a bad fighter or anything, but he never really beat anybody of note. He, he really just seemed to lose to all the fighters that he fought that, you know, were that next level. Like, it, I don't know. It's not a controversial thing to say, but you do have some extreme Tate fans that are going to say that, you know, you, I'm, I'm talking trash or shit talking. him. it's like, no, it's just the truth. He didn't really beat the greatest guys. Like, he, he got KO'd a few times. 
uh, yeah, he got KO'd by Francis Grage. Maybe that was the, did he got TKO'd by Ibrahim? Like, you know, he, he, he still did go and fight in kickboxing. So you got to respect that. Like he did, it wasn't horrible then. You know, he had some good MMA wins. Like he beat Luke Barnett. Him and Sean Strickland actually share that opponent, which is like pretty, pretty interesting given how things are. And I think they fight again. No, they only fought once. But, you know, Andrew Tate actually beat Luke Barnett more. You know, it was less competitive than the Sean Strickland fight. Because, you know, that Sean Strickland fight was sort of controversial at the time. But obviously, Sean Strickland has grown to be a much better fighter. But the point I was going with this, I, I guess I did just rant on and on there. But, you know... I've seen so many comments from like Trist, uh, like Andrew Tate fans, Tristan Tate fans, just saying that Tristan alone would be able to kick Sean Strickland's ass. Like, no, Sean Strickland is the UFC middleweight champion. Do you know who he beat? He beat Israel Adesanya. And I know that he's a very charismatic guy, Andrew Tate. But no matter what he has, you believe. Israel Adesanya is levels above him in kickboxing. Like, Israel Adesanya was a fucking fought in glory. He was never champion in glory, but the fact that he got to, a, like, a legitimate organization like glory and was, you know, beating guys there and got, had competitive fights there is better than anything Andrew Tate did in his kickboxing career. Like, he was fighting in infusion, and he won an ISKA championship like it's not as big a promotion uh, a promotion as people are acting like it is like if you watch an andrew tate video he'll have you believe like the iska is like the highest promotion like, he acts like that's like the ufc of kickboxing or something it's like a regional tier promotion like even on wikipedia and it's considered by many a bt organization you know, B-tier means, like, second rate, you know. Like, yeah, if you watch his videos, he'll make it seem like he was the world champion of, like, fucking glory, but, like, he wasn't. I feel like this video is just me shitting on his career. Like, don't get me wrong, he had an impressive career. Like, the fact that he won so many fights proves that he was legit, but it just wasn't against, like, that elite-level competition that, like, a Sean Strickland's beat. You know, Israel Adesanya is like a better win than anybody fucking Andrew Tate even faced in kickboxing. Like, I'm not even exaggerating that. Like, that's a genuine fact. Like, Israel Adesanya, legitimate kickboxer, and fucking Sean Strickland, 49-46 him. I even seen a comment from an Andrew Tate fan that said, Sean Strickland could barely beat a pink-haired anime fan. Imagine what Andrew Tate would do. Like, what the fuck? This doesn't even make any sense. Firstly, Sean Strickland ran through Israel Adesanya. Like, he literally dominated him from pillar to post. Arguably won that 50-44 because that first round arguably could have been a 10 eight, And that second round was close. Like, Strickland could have won that. Like, why are they acting to fit a narrative that Sean Strickland versus Israel Adesanya was even remotely competitive? Like, Sean Strickland beat the shit out of Adesanya. And he would beat the shit out of Tristan and Andrew Tate as well. Like, it wouldn't... Honestly, it wouldn't be close. He could beat one of them and then, you know, give him, like, a 15-minute break or something. And then he could probably beat up the other one. Like, his cardio is that good. And I don't think they're going to offer up anything that Adesanya couldn't offer up. You know, Andrew Tate's a lot more hittable than Adesanya. The way he... His defense, you know, he's he leaves his chin out there. Obviously, Strickland has, like, weird defense but his defense works a lot more you know Andrew Tate's been KO'd a few times like obviously yeah Strickland got KO'd by fucking Alex Paheya but Paheya is like a next level kickboxer like he's like two levels above what Andrew Tate is in my opinion I also wanted to mention a point that a, a lot of people were surprised that Andrew Tate and Sean Strickland like are opposing Guys, like a lot of people thought that Sean Strickland would agree with all the stuff that Andrew Tate says. But I think a point of why he doesn't, and this is just something I thought up, could be wrong on this, but maybe it's just because they see, you know, Andrew and Tristan seem to worship their father, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I'm not hating on that. 
But maybe it's because Sean Strickland literally hated his dad. His dad was abusive. You know, his dad was an alcoholic, a fucking abusive father. So I guess they have opposing views. You know, he, I guess he grew up, you know, respecting his mom a lot more, trying to save her from his dad. Well, you know, Andrew and Tristan, you know, they agreed with their dad's cheating and everything as they got older, even though their mom pretty much raised them. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's just my fucking view on it. That's just something I thought up. I could be completely wrong on that for all I know. But yeah, I don't know. All the Tate fans, like, I'm not a Tate hater. I'm uh, I'm neutral on Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate. Like, I don't really have a, a view on them. I'm not trying to get in fucking involved in that whole controversy. I'm just talking strictly as, like, combat athletes. I think people really need to, like, do a deep dive that Andrew Tate is... He was not that guy in kickboxing. Like, he won kickboxing fights, but he was not... He was not like a fucking elite level kickboxer. Maybe he could have been, but he never beat. Every time he fought people of note, he lost. He lost to Ibrahim. Igr- even lost to M- Miroslav Singel. Lost to Franci Grejaz, who was 34 and 8. Uh. Yeah, the tail end of his career when he beat Tate as well. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm just seeing a lot of delusional people who legitimately think that Tristan Tate and Andrew Tate could beat Sean Strickland. Sean Strickland would literally fucking beat the shit out of them while screaming, Come on, bitch, come on! Come on, fucking fight me, pussy! Like, he'd be doing that. Here's the fucking thing, you guys. Uh, like, here's the fucking thing. Do something, pussy. Like, he'd be doing that. He'd be just screaming at him. Like, it's fucking Sean Strickland. He's not... Like, he's not scared of them. Like, generally, he's not scared. He would be... He would be talking trash while moving forward. Now, plus, if you know, if the fucking... If it, Tristan and Andrew are going to jump in, and Chris Curtis is going to jump in, and then it's going to be Chris Curtis and fucking Sean Strickland... Versus Andrew and Tristan. I like I like Chris Curtis and Sean Strickland's chances in that. I don't know. I've uh, I've fucking ranted on and on. I hope a lot of this makes coherent sense. I got a bit distracted a few times. Uh, I kept getting a bunch of calls. So hopefully I've like made some valid points here. Uh, it's hard to uh, keep concentration when people keep trying to call you, but. Yeah, I, I I just don't like seeing this constant fucking, these comments from like Andrew Tate, like fanatics, like, he wouldn't dare say that to Andrew's face, it's like, yes he fucking would, the guy talked about Israel Adesanya jacking off his fucking dog in front of Adesanya, who's a much scarier fighter and an active fighter who isn't, you know, a, B, a B-tier fucking kickboxer, he was a fucking... Uh, S tier fucking kickboxer like generally could have been he even arguably got robbed in his fight for the glory championship you know so he was like he was a legit kickboxer like nobody's doubting Israel Adesanya's kickboxing but I'm seeing people who act like Andrew Tate was a better kickboxer than Israel Adesanya like I don't know generally weird just oh, I don't know like these people don't know anything about combat sports like, I, I don't know, I'm glad that Andrew Tate's bringing some more people into combat sports, but maybe just be honest that you weren't, like, the greatest kickboxer in the world, because it's creating such a fucking AIDS fan base, like, just so many comments, like, Sean would fucking, Sean wouldn't last a round with the top Gs, like, yes he would, he'd break Tate, he'd break them both, he'd literally just non-stop move forward, Philly shell his way and just beat the shit out of them while screaming in their faces. But yeah, interesting beef. The world of MMA always full of these interesting weird beefs, and I love it. That's why I love combat sports. Uh, yeah, I uh, I yapped on a little bit here. I do apologize for that. You know, like I said, I got a bit distracted. But if you did make it this far and you like these type of content, make sure you give this a like. Uh, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts on the situation. Do you think 
Who do you think's in the right here? Do you agree with Tristan Tate's counter argument about gambling? I don't think it's irrelevant personally. I just think it was a very irrelevant point. You know, Sean Strickland's not a moralist. He he's just a guy that says things how it is, pretty much. You know, whether you love him or hate him, he's always going to give you his honest opinion. And if you're not already, make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed uh, this random talk about the Tristan Tate, uh, Sean Strickland beef. But yeah, don't be calling him little man, because let me let me tell you. Look, here, <coughs> here's the fucking thing, you guys. Here's the fucking thing, you guys. Sean Strickland would fuck you both up. I mean, here's the fucking thing, you guys. Don't be calling me little man. <laughs> oh my god, I've been doing the Sean Strickland voice so much. It's literally killing my fucking vocal cords at this point. Eventually, I'm just going to wake up and sound like Sean Strickland. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next vid. <laughs> For the third time. This time, I'm ending it. Goodbye.